Hey scientists, so today we are going to be chatting about um, cellular chemistry. This is going to be part one of two slides. Slide shows. Alright, um, so we're talking inorganic versus organic. Organic versus inorganic. So, um, let's see. So organic molecules is, um, they are, they contain carbon. So they are from something that has been alive. Okay, organic molecules contain carbon. Um, they can be found in living things. Um, for example, DNA, sucrose are good examples of carbon molecules, sucrose being a form of sugar. Inorganic molecules. Um, these do not contain carbon. So um, carbon dioxide is, uh, is two. Um, even though it is, con it, even though it does have carbon, carbon dioxide is actually uh, considered an inorganic molecule. So examples of this would be diamonds, um, table salt, uh, which is NaCl. So again, um, stuff that has uh, never has that has never ever been alive or ever will be um, inorganic versus organic. All right, um, you need both of these to have healthy cells. You need both organic and inorganic molecules to uh, make up a, a healthy cell structure. All right, monomers and polymers. So a monomer is a single building block, mono meaning one. Um, there's generally around 50 different types of monomers. So this allows, as you can imagine, if you have 50 different types of something, it's going to, to uh, allow for a lot of different types and combinations. All right, a polymer, um, a poly, poly meaning many, um, like polynomial, uh, more than one monomer bonded together. So you have the, you have the monomer, which is, which is a, uh, a single building block. You put those things together, and then you've got um, a polymer, which is composed of a lot of monomers, um, almost like Legos. If you think of like the Lego as being um, a monomer, like a single block, um, a polymer might be like the building or whatever that you build with the Legos. So um, polymers are also known. Um, these are carbohydrates, they're lipids, um, proteins, and nucleic acids. Uh, nucleic acids, some uh, you might know them as RNA and uh, DNA. Alright, so we've got monomers and polymers. How do we make carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids out of them? So we've got, we've got the single blocks in the monomers, and we've got the multi-blocks in the polymers. How do we take those polymers and make really fancy things like carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids out of those? Let's find out. All right, chemical reactions is what you need. So it, enzymes are what helps make these happen. So hold on just a minute. Um, before we go much further, I want to take just a brief time out and explain briefly what an enzyme is. Um, we're going to go into more of what an enzyme is a little bit down the road. Um, we start talking about sort of cellular biology and how cells kind of move um, things around in them. But uh, for now, just uh, know that an enzyme is basically something that starts or ends a process. So for instance, um, if you eat some steak, the, uh, there's an enzyme co called protease that will help break down the amino acids. Um, the thing about an enzyme, though, you need to remember is it's very specialized. It only does one thing. So it either starts or stops one thing. So for instance, with the steak example, um, the protease will not, it will help break down the amino acids. But if you happen to have a little side of pasta, it will not break down that carbohydrate. So um, for right now, um, just know that an enzyme is something that starts or stops a process. All right, now, back to our uh, regularly scheduled lecture. Okay, so there are two types of reactions that occur here in these chemical reactions. Um, the first is dehydration synthesis, and the second is hydrolysis. So um, let's go in a little bit more into uh, dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. All right, dehydration synthesis. As you would imagine, um, dehydration is uh, when you take liquid away, when you are taking water away. So um, here we have in our diagram, right here, um, we are taking H and OH, bada bing, 2H2O. So you are taking these two molecules right here. You're taking the water away. And what this creates a completely different molecule. This molecule, actually we start with glucose and fructose, then we take the water away and we have sucrose. 
So that is dehydration synthesis, where you take water away. Dehydration. So it's reaction when water is removed in order to put molecules together. Sometimes to take the molecules apart and put them together, you need to add or subtract things. In this case, in the case of dehydration synthesis, you are taking away water. So these combine two, mo two monomers to form a polymer. Remember, mono is one, polymer is many. So um, again, so we've got monomer, monomer, and this leads to polymer. All right, so this is also called a condensation reaction. All right, so hydrolysis, as you might be able to figure out. Um, hydrolysis is the reaction where water is added to break molecules apart. So this breaks a polymer back into monomers. Okay, so you've got, in this case, you've got up here, um, you've got a polymer. Um, what you are trying to do is you are trying to break it into its individual pieces right here. And again, using enzymes um, and the chemical reaction, there you have, so this is right here, again, it's a polymer. These down here are, monomer, are monomers. So hydrolysis is when you add water to break up uh, molecules. All right, that's about it. Um, short but sweet. Hope you liked part one, and uh, I look forward to hanging out with you in part two.